think I, I can't really remember a time when I didn't have cats growing up. So uh, the treatment of the individual cat becomes so important. And we all know that they become so much more than pets. They become very much valued family members. They become a huge part of our support network. They they just that animal human animal bond becomes so strong. And so huge thing for me is education of cat owners, education of primary care vets and distributing um, our knowledge to um, orthopaedic surgeons and specialist colleagues worldwide so that we can really make sure that the advances we're making at Michigan State are traveling across the world and improving feline health everywhere. One thing I'm really excited about is having that initial ability to be able to go out and perform just small pilot studies because sometimes to go after external funding um, and certainly some of the really big funding agencies, they require you to have some pilot data to show them, completely understandably, uh, to show them that, 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 that they're putting their money in a good place. So I think this will allow us to um, do those initial pilot studies and to go after um, external funding from other funding agencies, um, which will certainly expand hugely what we can try and achieve here, which, which will be really beneficial. Um, I think also it's going to be useful for enhancing collaboration uh, between people. Um, it's just, you know, getting your name out there a little bit more. Maybe that's going to make it easier to encourage people to want to collaborate and on these projects. And potentially as well, um, in terms of maybe investing in some new equipment or maintaining equipment, new software that can allow us to help with things like uh, 3D printing or a mechanical testing of implants, those kind of things. And also being able to um, invest in the expertise to allow us to maintain those equipments and run them and interpret all of our results appropriately. So I think it's just going to be bringing together a team of um, like-minded individuals but with varying skill sets and that's what's going to allow us to get the best caliber research out there. I think social media is something that I, I uh, developed an interest in fairly late on actually and initially I was thinking about it really from an educational perspective and so I started posting my clinical cases and I think it's great. I think it also has huge potential for um, education of owners um, and just widening our sphere of influence in that respect, as long as we're careful about how we use it um, and recognize its limitations as well. So um, I'm very much in favor. And at the moment, my experiences with it have all been positive. So <laughs> purely through a connection on Twitter, I've just been asked to give um, rounds to the residents at Yale Orthopaedics. So they're actually going to get rounds on cats and dogs for the, for the human surgeons and the human residents there. So it's a huge thing for me that we have to pay this forward. Um, and that starts with inspiring the next few people. And I might be teaching a class of 116 people. I have to be realistic. There's probably no more than five of them that are gonna be interested in orthopaedics, but it's my job to in inspire those people and hopefully make them see that this is a career that's really worthwhile. And, and once they decide this is what they want to do, supporting them, continuing to, inspiring, to, to inspire them, challenging them, um, letting them see the doors that are open to them, opening doors for them where necessary. I think it's all critically important because if we are going to progress as, as a profession generally and specifically in feline orthopedics, this has to go way beyond me. Uh, mentoring to me is incredibly important and my version of mentoring is I want my mentee to go on to be bigger and better and achieve more than, than I ever did and that's how we can keep moving forward as a profession together.